We're back with our world lead now. Iran's message to the United States, do not get involved. The U.S. is currently on high alert for a significant retaliatory attack by Iran against Israel. This afternoon, President Biden was asked how imminent he believes this attack is. Take a listen. I want to get a secure information, but my expectation sooner than later. Mr. President, to Iran in this moment? Don't. Then CNN's MJ Lee asked President Biden this. Mr. President, are, are American troops at risk as well? We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will defend, help defend Israel. And Iran will not succeed. Now, Iran's expected retaliatory attack is a direct response, Iran says, to what they also say was an Israeli airstrike on an Iranian consulate in Syria last week, which killed senior Iranian military leaders. Let's get right to CNN's Orrin Lieberman at the Pentagon and CNN's Jeremy Diamond in Jerusalem. Orrin, we're hearing that the U.S. is moving additional assets to the Middle East. What kind of assets? The U.S. won't be specific about what types of assets these are, but likely air defense because that's the critical need here, and that is the expectation that either Iran or its proxies will try to attack Israel in all likelihood, either using some sort of missiles, drones, or rockets. And to prevent that from happening, what you need, obviously, is air defenses and the troops to carry out that mission. It is worth noting that U.S. troops in the region, specifically in Iraq, Syria, and elsewhere, have already been on high alert for the past six months, especially since the attack that killed three U.S. service members in Jordan. So they're already on the lookout for any potential risks here. In terms of defending Israel, we've learned from two U.S. officials that the U.S. will also do what it can to intercept any Iranian launches or Iranian proxy launches at Israel. We have seen some of that over the course of the past few months, where U.S. Navy ships in the Red Sea have intercepted Houthi drones, or rather Houthi uh, long-range cruise and ballistic missiles targeting Israel. It is also possible that U.S. forces in Iraq and Syria with their air defenses could try to intercept some sorts of launches at Israel, depending, of course, on where they came from. Worth pointing out that the commander of U.S. Central Command, uh, General Eric Carilla, is in Israel right now, meeting with senior Israeli leadership. We have also learned that in the conversations between U.S. and Israeli officials, the U.S. has urged Israel in its response to whatever is coming from Iran to not be too escalatory there. And there you see not only the, the expectation of the Biden administration, but also they believe Iran, that there is a need, a desire here not to escalate an already tense situation in the region. Jeremy, what are Israeli officials doing to prepare for this anticipated strike? Well, Jake, tonight there's no question that Israeli officials, Israeli forces are at a heightened state of alert, uh, anticipating a possible Iranian uh, response uh, to uh, that uh, alleged Israeli strike uh, on a uh, 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 diplomatic compound uh, in uh, Damascus. Uh, Israeli officials are uh, preparing. We've seen the top general, Herzi Halevi, visiting uh, troops today, meeting with top commanders, saying that the Israeli military is prepared to respond to any uh, potential threat uh, from Iran or from anyone else. What we're also seeing is Israel uh, working to try and deter uh, the possibility of an Iranian strike, in part by projecting this strength, by vowing that any kind of Iranian strike on Israeli soil will result in a, a similar response from Israel on Iranian soil. And we're also seeing Israeli officials try and use that allyship with the United States uh, to try and deter Iran as well. Here's the defense minister, Yoav Gallant, who met today with the head of the U.S. U.S. Central Command, General Carrillo. Our enemies think that they can pull apart Israel and the United States, but the opposite is true. They are bringing us together and strengthening our ties. We stand shoulder to shoulder in our struggle. And amid that uncertainty, Jake, tonight Hezbollah firing a significant barrage of rockets at northern Israel, 40 rockets all intercepted by is, uh, Israeli uh, air defense systems or falling in open areas. Not the response that we're anticipating from Iran and its proxies, but uh, the latest in that back and forth over that border. Jake. All right. Oren Lieberman and Jeremy Diamond, thanks to both of you.